This is Free Response Question 4 from the 2024 AP Calc ABBC exam. This is part of the No Calculator section. The graph of the differentiable function f, shown for x between negative 6 and 7, has a horizontal tangent at x equals negative 2, which we can kind of see there and is linear for x between 0 and 7. So that's over here. It looks linear, and in fact it is. Let r be the region in the second quadrant over here, bounded by the graph of f, the vertical line x equals negative 6, and the x and y axes. This region r has an area of 12. Part a says the function g is defined by g of x equals the integral from 0 to x f of t dt. Find the values of g of negative 6, g of 4, and g of 6. The first one, g of negative 6, is really easy. By definition of g, well, it's the area under the function f of t, which is graphed, from 0 to whatever the input is. So if the input is negative 6, well, g of negative 6 is just the area from 0 to negative 6, this area here. Now, we were told the area of that region is 12, but we do have to be careful because the function g is going to calculate this area backwards, going from 0 to negative 6. Hence, it will actually consider this area as negative 12. So g of negative 6 is negative 12. All right, next up is g of 4. To calculate g of 4, we just have to calculate the area under the curve from x equals 0 to x equals 4. That's just the area of this triangle. So g of 4 is going to be 1 half multiplied by the base of the triangle multiplied by the height of the triangle. The base of the triangle is just 4 from 0 to 4. So we will put 4 there for the base. And the height we can see is just 2. So our height there is 2. 1 half times 4 times 2 is equal to 4. Finally, for g of 6, we have to do the same thing, adding up area from 0 to 6. So that's going to be the area from 0 to 4, which we already calculated. It's just 4. And then we need to add this area from 4 to 6. And we can see that's going to be a negative area because the curve is now underneath the x-axis. But again, this is just a triangle. So again, we will use 1 half base times height. And again, we're taking all the area from 0 to 6. We already did the area from 0 to 4. So now we're just going to add the area from 4 to 6. The base of this triangle is 2 from 4 to 6. And the height we see is negative 1, which is why the area will be negative. So this is going to be 4 plus base, uh, 1 half, excuse me, 1 half times the base of 2 times the height of negative 1. So this is 4 minus 1, which is 3. That is g of 6. On to part b. For the function g defined in part a, find all values of x in the interval from 0 to 6 at which the graph of g has a critical point and we are asked to give a reason for our answer. To find critical points of g of x, we need to consider the derivative of g of x. We know that g of x will have a critical point where its derivative is zero or where its derivative does not exist by definition of a critical point. But we also know from the fundamental theorem of calculus, since g is the integral of f of t from t equals zero to t equals x, the derivative of g just cancels out that integration, and so g prime of x is actually just f of x. And f of x exists on this entire interval from 0 to 6. I mean, we're looking at its graph. It certainly exists. So there's not going to be anywhere on the interval from 0 to 6 where g prime does not exist. Hence, the only places we have to look for critical points are where f of x is equal to 0. And from the graph, Again, focusing on the interval from 0 to 6, we see that f is equal to 0 at x equals 4. So that is our one critical point. That's the only critical point, and so that completes our solution to part b. Let's finish with c. The function h is defined by h of x equals the integral of f prime of t dt from negative 6 to x. Find the values of h of 6, h prime of 6, and h double prime of 6 
and show the work that leads to our answers. So I'll jot down part C up here, beginning with the calculation of h of 6. h is an integral of f prime from negative 6 to x. So if x, the input, is 6, by the fundamental theorem of calculus, we can evaluate this integral as f of 6, so that's the antiderivative of the integrand, evaluated at this input, f of 6 minus f of the lower bound, negative 6, right? This is how we evaluate definite integrals. We take the antiderivative of the integrand and then evaluate it at the upper bound and the lower bound and subtract them. We can find these values from the graph. f of 6 is given as negative 1, and f of negative 6 we see is 0.5. So this is going to be negative 1 minus 0.5, and so the answer is negative 1.5. Now, what about h prime of 6? Well, the derivative just undoes the integral, so h prime of 6 is actually just going to be f prime of 6. h prime of 6 equals f prime of 6, and f prime of 6 is the slope of the line tangent to f at x equals 6. So let's look at the graph of f, and at x equals 6, we are over here. We know that this is linear, and so the derivative is just going to be the slope of this line. We can see two points here that allow us to quickly calculate the slope. The line goes over 2 and down 1. So that's a slope of negative 1 half. Hence, h prime of 6, which is f prime of 6, is negative 1 half. Finally, h double prime of 6 that's the rate of change of the rate of change of f, the rate of change of the derivative of f, at x equals 6. And if we look at f at x equals 6, well, we know that f is a line over here. Hence, it has a constant rate of change, and so its second derivative, the rate of change of its rate of change, must be 0. The derivative is not changing at all at x equals 6. It's a line with a slope of negative 1 half. And that completes our solution to free response question 4 from the 2024 AP Calc ABBC exam. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. If you want a little bit more practice, check out my 10 hours of AP Calc FRQs video, linked in the description as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind to Calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count with calculus. I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest. Happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant. Call me the Morgan, I get the compliments. The union in together, like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need.